Um, it's going to potentially cost NFL fans $850 to watch every game next season. You would need all of these subscriptions to watch every single game that's televised in the NFL. YouTube TV, Amazon Prime Video, Peacock, ESPN Plus, and it's rumored that Netflix is going to get added to the mix as they look to grab this uh, Christmas Day game. But the total is over $500, which is before the Sunday ticket at $349. And then the total cost is at least $850 per person. This is crazy. And mind you, this is like, you know, through the whole season. So it's not a monthly type of thing. But, you know, the, through the course of what? seven eight months or maybe even longer if you want to watch every game so you know the whole season this is kind of wild and you know i'm looking at this i'm like what was the purpose of you know the nfl going to all these different networks if you know it's rumored that they're gonna come together and make this one big platform for everybody to watch what the hell happened to that because last thing i checked i seen paramount plus was still doing it uh warner bros espn was still in it but this doesn't make sense if a person has to pay all of this. And and honestly, bro, I'm not even worried about having to pay all of this. This is whatever because people spend money on far less things that's, you know, whatever. People spend money on stupid things all the time. But the fact that, or the thing that I'm worried about is it's just so many different subscriptions that a person has to go through. Like, damn, YouTube TV, Prime Video, Peacock, ESPN, Netflix. Like, that's five different subscriptions that somebody got to go to. And, and you know, it's, it's wild because this is why I condone streaming. This is why I condone illegal streaming when you're watching the games. And this is why, you know, I'm not going to say it on air, but I have no problem encouraging it to a, a, an individual because... You go to Stream East and you watch these games, it's free. All you got to do is deal with a couple of ads before you actually get to the game. You go to Sports Surge, oh my gosh, you know, struck gold. Like, this is wild. And, and I'm just, I just, I can't help but to think that people are going to eventually start doing illegal streams more the same way people did with music back in the day, like LimeWire. When people was trying to download the music illegally, you trying to get, you know, some stuff for your, your MP3 player and CDs and burnt CDs, all of that stuff. They about to find a way because ain't no way in hell everybody going through all these different subscriptions just to watch a game. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't know why the NFL just doesn't, you know, capitalize on Red Zone even more and expand Red Zone to just keep it its own network. And just pay, you know, you're still going to get advertisers because there's plenty of people who want to watch the game. So, you know, that's that's my thing with that. But I, I'm not going to dwell on it no more. Look, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. If, if you want to go through five or six different subscriptions, that's on you. That's your personal choice. Um, you, you obviously going to get every video, every movie, every TV show, anything you can think of. But personally, I'm going to stick to certain streams allegedly that i use to watch the game so <laughs> look man hey shoot us a call 219-413-9405 um leave us a quick take leave a comment anything that's on your mind or maybe you just want to tell me something about the hawks that you heard if they should trade trey young you know draft the, the new guy alex star um or if you gonna even indulge in all of these subscriptions over 850 dollars for next season I, i'm just curious you know, you pay all of that in the season. You can take your behind to a game for $850 and sit right on the sideline. Side so... <laughs>